Hi, welcome to Enlightened. I'm Paul and I'm here at the top of the St. Augustine Lighthouse. I love looking out on Florida and the Atlantic Ocean from here, but today we are going to look inside the lighthouse instead. We are going to get an up-close look at our first order Fresnel lens. The lighthouse still is still an active aid to navigation, so we don't normally get to go into the lens room. The collections team at the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum has made a special exception just for us. But we will have to be careful because the lens is fragile. How's this for an impressive view? This lens is nine feet tall, six feet across, and weighs two tons. Its job is to magnify its light source over 20 miles out to sea so sailors can see it. The 370 individual prisms of glass redirect as much light as possible out to the horizon. Notice how the lens is turning. This gives the lighthouse a distinctive flashing pattern. The lens has three bullseyes set at equal points around the lens. The bullseyes throw a brilliant beam of light out to sea, and whenever one swings past, the light appears to flash. If you are close enough to the lighthouse, you can actually see the beams as they rotate. To sailors off the coast, they look like flashes. Each lighthouse flashes in a different pattern called a night mark. This helps sailors figure out which lighthouse they are looking at. This lighthouse flashes once every 30 seconds. So a sailor out at sea looking back at the lighthouse would time the flashes. Once he figured out that it flashed every 30 seconds, he would consult a light list. So not only did lighthouses warn sailors of hazardous waters, they also helped them figure out where they were, like an early GPS system. Next episode, we're going to learn about the history of these engineering marvels and how the United States almost didn't use them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've been enlightened.